All right, it's Thursday, so it is time to take your weather questions to Ellen. This week's question comes from Scott. He wants to know if we'll be able to see the total lunar eclipse this weekend. Yeah, this is a great question. So even though that this is this weekend, it's kind of towards the end of the weekend. Time frame for this eclipse is going to be Sunday night. So just a quick review of what a lunar eclipse is. It's when the Earth gets in between the sun and the moon. So because of that, we get the Earth's shadow on the moon, and when we look at the moon, it looks blood red. So lunar eclipse it's always pretty neat to see when they do occur. With this particular eclipse, anywhere in the northern uh, America region should be able to see it, except for out west. So we are technically in the realm that should be able to see the eclipse. Here's the catch. I don't know if our skies are going to be clear enough. Regardless, even though we have some clouds in the forecast for Sunday night into Monday, want to talk about the key times to look for just in case you can spot it through the clouds. So the core of the event is going to take place through 1130 on Sunday night and then wrap up close to 1 a.m. on Monday morning. For those of you that love the stats and the facts and some of those different uh, sideline kind of conditions, you can see that the maximum eclipse is set to occur at 12, 11 a.m. on Monday morning. So that's again late Sunday night into Monday morning. And it officially completely wraps up by the time we get to 2.50 a.m. That's when the moon will be completely uh, unobscured again. So again, if we just look at what to expect, the entire eclipse should last five hours and 19 minutes in total. But truthfully, if we want to know how long the cool part of the eclipse is going to last, yeah. it's like closer to about two hours or so. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Maybe. to see. Maybe the clouds look like they're going right. to hang around. So yeah, hopefully we can. All right. Thanks, Ellen. Yeah. And if you have a weather question that you want to ask Ellen, all you have to do is email the seven at woodtv.com, or you can find Ellen on social media.